What's up, guys? Alfonso Peterman is here. You know, like, like, like I'm here right now. Um, welcome to an unboxing slash haul. Uh, I'm kind of multitasking here. <laughs> so just kind of bear with me. Uh, all right. We can hear your mom. <laughs> First of all, good morning. Good morning to all of you. Happy Friday. It is Friday. And I won't be very, very long. Um, but I hope you guys are having a great a great morning. For some of you guys, it might be afternoon. For others, it might be evening. Good morning to everybody. Quite a bit of new figures that I... <sighs> love uh give me one second here i'm just uh all right so anyway i have quite a few figures i got quite you know i have my coffee here i got my 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 mocha latte you know what i'm saying mm. Mm. It's evening for you? Yeah. For some of you guys, it might be evening. No, I did not get the Transformers mug. I can still get it, though. It's not that much money. So welcome, one and all. I'm going to back up a little bit to a live unboxing. I have a quite, a be quite a bit of figures. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six figures. Uh, one I've already unboxed, and you guys see them right there. Uh, one I'm not going to unbox because it will be a giveaway item, and the rest I will be unboxing. Um, I am super, super like y'all. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday was amazing. I found so many things that I wanted that I didn't even think I was gonna find at the time because I would have actually went prepared. Uh, I found the kingdom. Uh, Optimus Primal. I found Kingdom Cyclonus. I got Cyclonus, and then I got, um, well, I found the Kingdom Megatron. The, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do it because I suck at it. I don't even know what the original sounds like. That's how much I'm not, like, into it. But, but apparently if you get it wrong, it's, like, illegal in this community. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, I got, I, I found Megatron. I will be sharing these on, uh, Instagram, these images. I think I've already shared some on the story, but I'll post it. Uh, I did do an Instagram live. That's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, team fan page. I did see, I just didn't get like... I got distracted. I was supposed to respond. If that's you, you know, if you wanted me to be a part of it, I I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Um, yeah. So look, I <laughs> I got Megatron. Well, I found Megatron. I didn't get him. Um, I didn't really want to get him. You know, fifty bucks, and that's not like my kind of Megatron. Um, there you go. But this is my proof. I found him, and that was the end cap. So there were quite a bit of figures there, including the Earthrise Prime repack, which is, you know, packed into Kingdom packaging. Um, all right, let's see. And oh, yeah, and the Toy Room had a lot of stuff. The Toy Room had the Studio Series 86 Jazz Cup and uh, uh, Blur had all those three. And I was going to get all of those until I noticed this guy. <laughs> until I noticed this beautiful thing sitting up there. Just <laughs> absorbing all of the attention. On top of that, now this was a really close call because I didn't know what I was going to do. He also had... 
Yeah, here it is. Uh... He also had all of the Constructicons with the exception of uh, Overload. And I wanted, I mean, this was, this was very tempting. Do I get all of these guys and then just get Overload and I have Devastator? Or do I get MP10? I sat there for 30 minutes. <laughs> like up until the time that he had to close the store. Cause that's how like I that's how much I was deliberating this. I wanted to get I wanted to get all of these. He still has all of them, so I still can go and get them. But um the price value, I didn't want to go beyond what I was trying to spend. <laughs> I didn't want to spend three hundred dollars in there. So I decided to go with MP10. My love for Optimus Prime prevailed. Uh, I I figured getting one premium figure is better than getting like seven or eight plastic budget figures. <laughs> I'm not gonna say cheap because they are good figures, but you know, but they're budget figures. You know, they had they do have the 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 third party devastator. So anyway, we're gonna get started. I don't have a lot of time. Um, well, I might have a lot of time. I don't know how many time I have. But we're going to get started. And the first character I want to remove is Bumblebee from the Netflix War for Cybertron series. Um, I had one. I removed it. I returned it. I did a lot of stuff. <laughs> and, then I got him, and then I got him back. And the same thing with Alita. Like... So, I'm just going to get to it. I'm going to unbox it right now. I just started the... Sevast. Oh, wow. I might feel like I didn't unbox this before. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, you're back. There he goes, Bumblebee, with all of his accessories. I haven't seen any reviews of him, so I have no idea what he does. When to open them. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah, Bumblebee. It's a cute little thing. I just hate his feet. I know he's G1, and G1 is like those big car pieces are part of the robot mode. There you go. You've got Bumblebee there. And then on the side... In the back. The back is removable, of course, which I really like. That, to me, looks better. And then you put that, if you want to make that a shield, doesn't really look. <laughs> it, I mean, it's okay as a shield. But I like him. I like Little Bumblebee. Um... <clears throat> That's one of the figures that I'm gonna keep. Cause he's he's a cute little he's a cute little she's like a little shrimp. It's just a little shrimp, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh next up is Alita. I've unboxed her before as well. All I'm doing is just doing it again. So I've seen her out of the packaging. I am going to see Godzilla vs. Kong. Yes, indeed. Yep, Elita 1.
Alfonso OnlyFans. <laughs> what is with you guys in this OnlyFans? You didn't like Earth Rice? Wow. Most of the people I talked to enjoyed it to some extent. There were some moments where it was kind of everywhere, and I do see that. Oh, this one's tough. The last one I had was loose. This one's pretty... Well, at least the leg parts are tough. I like Alita 1. I do like Alita 1. She's a nice figure. And she so she's going to look great with RC. I got Alita 1 there. Looking good. I hate the giant backpack. <laughs> but I like the figure. There we go. Oh, I like the little one and B. Actually, <clears throat> together, they look really nice together. I think they look they look better like as a team than individually. You know what I mean? I like them. The scale is pretty. Uh, looks about right. So these are the figures that I've previously unboxed so i know exactly what they're like what they're about <clears throat> no surprise to me but the figure oh man oh my god y'all i'm gonna go nuts with this one <laughs> i'm gonna have to back up get, the, get back for this one i just wanted to get those out of the way just to give you an idea of what's next i have Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just it's sitting on my bed. <laughs> but yeah, we got some really good stuff next. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Buddy, listen. Listen to me well. Listen to me when I say this is good. All right, this is a figure I have been sleeping on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Thanks to a buddy of mine, a fellow Alfonso. This, this <laughs> is what I've been wanting because I have Earthrise Prime, and I have a lot of the other War for Cybertron style figures. This Netflix Megatron I have been sleeping on for a long, periodically time. I found him in the toy hunts. I just never actually bought him. But then I decided, I said, he is the best War for Cybertron Megatron that we've gotten in Voyager in these recent waves. He is the best. Like, that painting, his accessories. He's even got the little, uh, like, the little prisoners. It's so awesome. <laughs> and I have been wanting to unbox this. I have been dying to unbox this. I have been craving this unboxing. Oh, for a long, <laughs> periodically time. Oh, God. Oh, man. I'm finally taking him out. I had this guy for over a week, and I didn't unbox him because I didn't have, like, the time to just do the video. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, man. No. No way. No 
Boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And the blaster. Yeah, you can't see the blaster from the packaging because it's like on the corner. <gasps> Megatron looks beast. He looks beast. <laughs> oh man. I gotta learn how to, I gotta figure out how to take, I know it doesn't have those plastic tabs on it. It's just kind of like buried in the plastic. I don't want to break anything. <sighs> okay. So his first half is out. Rise, Megatron. Dude, this thing is so freaking nice. This thing is so nice. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way I could have had Earthrise Prime without this guy. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. And he's a tank, which is among my favorite modes for Megatron. I am... <laughs> I am sh... Y'all. 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 This war. The paint. It's the paint. Because I've seen this mode before. What's happening? I've seen this mode before. Well, I've seen... Oh, my God. I've seen the War for Cybertron, the other Megatrons. Like the 35th anniversary. And I've seen the Siege. But not, none of them, none of them tops this. This, this is amazing. The scratches, that gradient, that's, oh my God. Y'all, this is really like one of the most anticipated, one of my favorite. Man, him next to Soundwave. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself, but this is a really nice figure. This is a mini masterpiece. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. Don't don't even come for me. Don't even at me. Like I don't want you to at me. <laughs> oh man. This is the dagger that I broke last time. Remember, remember last time? The Siege Megatron when he came out and I, I would think it was one of the first one of the first Teletron unboxing episodes. Let's go. Y'all, the poses. Oh, the poses. Oh, man. That's like a dagger fit for a gladiator. That's a dagger fit for a dark ruler, like a leader, like a freaking... <laughs> That's a villain. That's a dagger for a villain. Like, that just fits him so well. What's up, Daddy Alfonso? <laughs> Guys, please text to Alfonso. He needs to know Bumby Nation was the biggest fan. I appreciate Bumby Nation. I appreciate all of you guys. <laughs> that popped out easier than I thought. <laughs> uh-huh. Bro, you overreact to action figures. <laughs> well... You consider it overreaction. I consider, you know, why I I act the way I do, and that's a, that's a fair thing you said, even though you're kind of coming for me. But I'm not even going to go there. the The reason why I act the way I do is because it's not just the figure I'm admiring; it's how much the figure looks relative to the actual character that I love. So when you love something a lot that you see that's, you know, online or a movie, and then you get a physical representation of that in your hands, and then you realize how close it is to what you fell in love with, you, you act in a way, you freak out. <laughs> you freak out. Um, so that's, that's why I act the way I do, because I love Megatron. 
and I love him in the War for Cybertron series. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Seeing a physical in, uh, iteration of this is exactly what makes me go crazy. Unbox Primal. Yeah, Primal is next. All, all you want here better be subscribed. You better believe it. He's saying Bum Bumblebee Nation passed away. Oh my god. And wanted to pay respect. Oh, I'm I I didn't even I didn't even see that. I'm sorry to hear that. Um I think I remember seeing Bumblebee Nation typing in like his comments. That is so sad. Um potentially pass away, I should clarify. Okay. Well, if he did, I I am I am sorry. I, I don't know what the cause was, but I, I am I'm sorry. I mean, I've never heard that before or it's my first time hearing that basically, so um, I do pay many respects to Bumpy Nation. <laughs> Y'all are doing F in the chat. There you go. Presumably, yeah. Well, I'm I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, that's yeah, that's sad. Not because of you. It's because of depression. Yep. Depression can be brutal. It can be very brutal. And yes, I I do think we need to do a quick moment of silence for Bumblebee Nation. And if there's a, if there is a, like an account or anybody related to B Nation that I can reach out to, forward me that in my DMs, and I'll send them my condolences and sympathy. Yeah, that's 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 crazy. Yeah, exactly, T fan page. Don't don't guys don't spam F. <laughs> you can put N F in a chat, not ten hundred, ten thousand. I meant, <laughs> or one hundred, or ten hundred thousand. Just put one. Don't spam it. Um. Wow, that's man, that sucks. Depression, depression is that thing is brutal. And if you don't overcome that thing, if you don't, man, if you don't make it past it, it can get rid, man, I, trust me, I know, I know, and, and, and I'm sorry to hear it, um, so, you've also got, uh, the little effects for his blaster, and you got the little Autobot captives that I may not really use, but it is there and it is an option. So Megatron is probably one of my favorites out of this entire bunch. I gotta say, he's just I think he's like a, he's, he's a desk bot. Him and Soundwave is a desk bot. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So last but not least, um, this is <clears throat> this is a a most recent find. I found this guy yesterday. I this thing I found yesterday. The only reason why I wanted him is because if you look at my Optimus collection, it's a bunch of like G1, Warp and Cybertron, Bayverse kind of stuff. There isn't like any not, not much diversity. You see a lot of G1 looking primes. 
primal is going to be a good mix of what of what that'll look like. And I love the packaging on this guy. I love how they just kind of took over most of the packaging. Um so yeah. <laughs> I am I am ready for this. I do think I'm going to keep him in robot mode. I don't think I'm going to have him in this mode even though it does look very nice, considering the fact that it transforms. Check it out. That's the side of the packaging. I love that image. And it leaks over. That's so freaking awesome. The packaging makes you want to buy it, even though the figure may not be... <laughs> even though the figure may not be all that. I mean, this figure is all that. But even, like the figure doesn't have to be all that. And then the packaging is like... Oh! what I'm buying, I'm buying, you know, like, it's very, it's very welcoming, so we're gonna go ahead and get to the unboxing now, my first time unveiling Optimus Primal in person, this, I've never unboxed him before, I found him yesterday, I have seen an Optobotomus review, I think it was Optobotomus, and it looked really good on camera, so, now, my freedom fighters, the moment has come for my first ever Beast Wars figure unboxing. Yeah, <laughs> I never owned any Beast Wars figures. This is my first Beast Wars figure that I will be unboxing in my life, in all of my life. <laughs> I am 23 years old. I have my channel for 10 years. This is the first time. Right here. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa, look at the side. There's a... Wow. Yo. Oh, the sword's on the side. I was wondering where the swords were. Dude. Optimus Primal. That is really, really cool. I can already tell it's going to be a, like a tough, a tough little figure. And what the heck is this? is this like the little, I think they have like collector cards that you get with it. Yeah, that's what this is. This is a collector card. <laughs> I'm not big on them, but the fact that I have one and it's the Ark, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And you've got, I'm going to, I don't, don't come for me if I butcher this. I don't know, Beast Wars. This might be the, the golden disc. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you come for me if I get it wrong. Peel back the image on the card. Okay. It peels. The heck? Where does the peel at? Does it actually? Oh, it does. Yo, that's pretty cool. It's it's also like the arc. It's the arc crashed into the earth. That's pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's a sticker. <laughs> you see how much I know about this? I don't know any about this. So it's a sticker. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna put that sticker like a. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it somewhere. This background, though. I like this background. This might be like the golden disc also like type background. Again, don't come for me. I don't get why they have Autobot logos. If they're not Autobots, they're Maximals. See, that's a whole thing also that I don't understand. <laughs> but wow. All right. T time to get you out, buddy. It's time to get you out. Never going to keep you in. It's time to get you out. It's time to unveil Optimus Primal. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna say goodbye. Dude, these things are tough. Come on, man. I don't want to hurt the figure now. I should get scissors for this stuff. I don't know why I use a knife to unbox these things. And this is like a knife that you like defend yourself with. This is not an unboxing knife. This is a... <laughs> Stay away from me, 
Megatron. Like that's the kind of knife this is. It even has like the little grooves for like the the finger. It's a self defense knife. I'm using to freaking unbox toys. I want to get like a sort of judgment knife for like my permanent unboxing knife, but I don't. I can't really find a good one anywhere. All right, I'm just gonna pull up my finger. There we go. That's better. This is looking. This this is really nice. This is it kind of looks exactly like what I thought. Out the bottom, it's this review was really really nice. And okay, I'm not. You know what? I'm just gonna pull it upwards. Can I do that? Can I always oh, hand it? His other hand it. <sighs> A fruit knife. Yeah, I could do that too. If it is what I'm thinking, it is. I think. It's tinier. Let's go. I'm look. I don't get excited over Beast Wars. I really don't. But Optimus Primal is a really nice robot design. He's a, and then the figure is so accurate to the series because I did I did get started on watching the series, so I know what to look for. And this thing is beautiful. Whoa, this thing is pretty accurate. Even like. They even got the lips and the head sculpt. And they got like the two like missile things that come up. Well, that's really, you can do that for the, the beast mode if you want. But this is really, really nice. Optimus Primal has been unveiled. My first Beast Wars unboxing in my whole entire life. <laughs> so that's fun. <laughs> I'm serious. I've never had. I've never had uh, a Beast Wars figure. Look at this. I'm I'm actually a fan of it, and I'm most certainly going to keep him for sure. For sure. Articulation. Oh, he's tough. I love tough figures. Figures that you got to apply some really strong force to articulate it. That's going to keep it in place with posability, and that's going to keep the longevity of the lifespan too. You know? It'll be a while until it loosens up. Hmm. So, I'm just keeping an eye on my computers here in case anything comes in. It's a very slow day at my job. Like, it's really, really slow. It's slow to the point to where it, they don't even need all of us, but we just have to do it because we're... We, we, we just have to do it. <laughs> There's, like... There hasn't been anything for the past 37 minutes, and it's probably going to be the next, the last hour. So, but I always have to keep an eye on it in case I get a message or in case there's a meeting invite or whatever. I don't know. I just have to keep an eye on it. So that's why I keep looking over there. <laughs> so, yes, I am. I'm a big fan. Open the chest. Okay. Opening the chest. How do you even do that? I actually saw the review and I didn't do it. Wait, I think I see where it opens at, but I don't know how. Oh, on the side, let's see it. Maybe, or maybe I'm wrong. It looks like it does open, so I'm going to try. Mm -mm. I do see where it could possibly open, but it's just really tough. I'm not transforming it. That's not happening. <laughs> uh-uh. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. <laughs> uh, what, 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 what's inside the chest? <laughs> what's going on? I like it, though. I really like them. I gotta get the swords. I gotta get the swords. You're supposed to be in class and you're watching a live stream. <laughs> Please compare the SS38 Optimus with Netflix Megatron. Okay. Give me a sec. I will do that. Oh, these swords are really it's going to it's going to complete them. It's going to complete them. It's going to complete him. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. The swords very nice. 
it looks like one of those things that the that like archaeologists and like adventurers they chop like shrub when they in the jungle. <laughs> They're chopping the shrubs or like the the brushes, the the leaves, whatever you want to say. It just looks really nice. Oh, it fits. Whoa, it's this guy's tough for a voyager. Yeah, I don't think anything was in the chest. Because I saw the review and I don't remember him ever doing that, but maybe a troll. It's probably just a troll. Yeah, the chest doesn't open. That's what I figured. There is a compartment that looks like it would open, so that's what kind of got me. But it wouldn't. It wouldn't coming out. <laughs> Ooh! Yes! 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 <laughs> Freaking go, dude! Did no, this is this is. I like it. I like it. I like it. This completes him. This is what he was missing right here. <laughs> Optimus Primal. I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big, big, big fan of it. Big, big fan of it. Big, big fan of it. Look at that. I know my webcam is not the same quality as my camera, but <clears throat> you'll get all the quality pictures elsewhere. All right. I'll try to do this without. You saw nothing. <laughs> this is 38 Prime. Who, who actually fell? And this is Megatron. Netflix Megatron. So if I put their feet together in terms of scale. Well, they're both Voyagers. This is their feet together right there. So they're almost the same height. They're almost the same height. Megatron might be in, like a, just a hair taller. But they're almost the same. Or they could be the same. Hmm. I like this. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, sound wave and make. Oh, and opt. And, oh, <laughs> I, I dig this Megatron big time. I'm glad I finally pulled the blog on him. But I bought him from a fellow Alfanzo. So I actually. I actually have like a. I actually supported someone in the community versus just buying it from a store. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's go. The last figure <clears throat> is Cyclonus. Now, I got to say that uh, when I went to the toy room, <clears throat> the guy had Cyclonus already unboxed. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> no problem. I can compare them if you'd like. I already, he already had this unboxed, so I already played with this guy outside of the box. I already know what it's about. So instead of unboxing him myself, and I already kind of had enough time knowing what he's about, I'm not going to unbox this. I'm going to give this away. So this is going to be a giveaway. My first giveaway of 2021. And I know a lot of people are looking for him. Uh, he's not at every store. A lot of stores don't have anything at all. <laughs> but the stores that do have things, um, they don't uh, have this guy. So I'm going to give this away. But this will be a Twitter giveaway only. And I said this last year. My next giveaway would be a Twitter for Twitter followers only. If you don't have a Twitter, you probably have a phone. And you probably have internet. Download Twitter, create an account, <laughs> and follow me and so that you could be a part of it. Um, I will be doing uh, Twitter. Well, this is I'll, I'll be doing uh, giveaways that are non-Twitter exclusives. The main reason why I'm doing Twitter only <clears throat> is because I'm trying to grow my Twitter uh, 
platform. I'm trying to grow my reach there. Uh, it's the only only uh, platform that I have the least reach in. So I'm just trying to grow it. That's all. There's not, nothing really other than that. Just trying to gain more followers um, on that. So follow me on Twitter now because after this live stream, some people are already doing it. Some people are already doing it. Dang, y'all are fast. Um, my coffee almost spilled too from that. Um, <laughs> follow me on Twitter and then I will post something after this giveaway and then I will pick a random user from that. If you don't have Twitter, get it. <laughs> it's literally free, number one. You have an email address because you have to have a Google account to be able to comment. So you have something to use, number two. And then just follow me and then participate. You don't have to use it for anything else other than a giveaway if you don't want to. But um, this is a figure I know a lot of people want it. And I'm not all that, like, interested in Cyclonus. He's a beautiful character. He's an amazing figure. He's a really awesome villain. But I'm not – I didn't grow up on this. This is not a thing that's nostalgic for me. For some people, it is. Some people, some people they let, like, TFI Creations, he's like, give me that now. You see, I, I don't feel that way. Because I I don't feel that connection to the character because I don't he's not part of my my upbringing I guess you can say it doesn't mean I don't like him but it means I don't really he's not sentimental for some people this is a sentimental thing this is like a and then I've seen the previous Cyclonus figures and this is one of the biggest improvements this is one of the best improvements of Cyclonus so anyway <clears throat> I'm saying all that to say this is why I'm not gonna unbox him I've already seen it in person. I know I'm not going to keep it, so I'm not even going to unbox this guy. I'm going to keep him pristine, keep him brand new, and then I'm going to give him away to one of you guys. Somebody that actually really, really wants it, all right? So, <clears throat> yeah, after the live, which is going to be probably <laughs> uh, in the next five minutes, I will be giving this away, and uh, I'll, I, I, I'll just pick a random winner from the people that respond. So what what's going to happen is um, I'm going to post it. I'll give it some time, maybe like a few days for people to retweet it, for other people to join, and then for other people to like it and comment or whatever. And then – so that way most people can get a – become like, die, golly. Oh, my God. Y'all are, y'all are killing it. <laughs> I didn't – y'all are, are killing it. <laughs> Um, thank you. This is what I, this is all I'm trying to do is grow the platform there. Um, my Twitter is at Alfonso nation. I should have said that from the beginning, but if you look up Alfonso nation, I'm there. uh, a lot of you guys are figuring it out already, but there you go. Just trying to grow it. So yeah, I will post the giveaway thing now after the live um we're at 44 i'll go until 50 and then that's going to be it 50 minutes of the live and uh yeah do a random like pick of the person and i'll be doing more uh for youtube followers um i'll be doing some for instagram like i'll just do exclusive for those who follow certain it just, it just depends um my next giveaway Maybe like a, a Studio Series 86, one of those. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Whichever one is the most popular. <laughs> um, yep. No problem, Michael. He's brand new. I, I've never, I've, I found him yesterday. I never opened him. The guy at the toy room had one open. So that's how I got a chance to look at it. He was like, hey, do you guys like Lonus? I was like, I got him, but I didn't open him yet. I opened him. Here you go. Boom! Hey, so I sat there and played with him. He's a nice, he's a nice figure. I just uh, don't need him. <laughs> My focus is MPMs and masterpieces and KOs and three A's. That's where I, my heart's really going. I can't end the live without showing you guys what I found. That's MP10, baby. Man, oh my god. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, I lost my mind when I opened this thing. I lost my mind. 
this thing is a freaking king. He's a king. I can't even use. Oh, this is what this is what I want. This is what I want. KOs. <laughs> I am a Transformers. Some of the KOs are better than the original. Look at that star scream versus that star scream. Try again, okay? I like some of the KOs. Look, if it's a better better paint, if it's better detailing, if it's upscaled, if there's LEDs, I consider that an improvement from the originals. Oh my god, this is like my child. This is like my baby. Oh yeah, hold the Matrix, y'all. Uh, I freaking and that Matrix is beautiful, and it's massive, and it's it feels like it's all like diecast metal. It feels like it's all diecast metal. Like literally, it feels like it's all diecast metal. <laughs> and I was actually shocked at the fact that it was all diecast metal. Yeah. So anyway, guys, um, we're at 47. Yeah, I heard he was really hard to get. And that he was really expensive. Like, he's a rare. He's rare. So I was like, oh. <laughs> That's why I wanted to get him. See, I can always get Devastator some other time. But this, I can't pass up on this. Come on. I got him at the toy room. <clears throat> I got him at the toy room. Beautiful. Beautiful. As an Optimus collector and an Optimus Prime admirer and an Optimus everything, that was worth it. Alfonso, you are the one who made me love Transformers and love Optimus Prime, love from Pakistan. Pakistan, wow. Please read this. Thank you, Ayan, Ayan or Ayan. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Thank you. And thank you guys for the follower. <laughs> Y'all are killing it now. Keep going. I'm going to do it funny, AJ. Who are you voting for, Godzilla or Kong? I've never been a big fan of Godzilla, but I haven't seen all of the movies. So I'm going to make that determination after I watch everything. But I think King Kong would be a pretty good match. Godzilla, I don't know. Godzilla obviously looks like he would win because he's a freaking like monster. But I just like how King Kong looks. We'll see. I gotta watch all the movies first, and then I'll then I'll know, or then I'll pick a side. But I can't pick a side right now. I like I personally, from a distance, I like King Kong a little bit more. Uh, morning, Isaiah. Yes, I'm excited for all the stuff coming to HBO Max. I'm going to get HBO Max soon. I already had it, but then I got rid of Well, I had the trial, and I never switched over to the paid uh, monthly thing. But once I clear up a lot of other stuff, then I will be able to use it. Trypticon will probably wipe Godzilla out. Trypticon's got a lot of different weaponry, and he's way more tougher. He's made of metal. I mean, like... And he's got Energon. Who knows how Energon is going to, like, well, Dark Energon. Who knows how that affect Godzilla? I don't think MP10 will show up at Ross. Maybe the MPM Optimus Prime. But I don't think MP10 will. I don't think MP10 will. Like the movie verse stuff, but I don't think MP10 will be the one. I can name a lot of Transformers off the top of my head, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's a lot. Wish you would redo MPM03 with Buzzworthy B. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel that. So anyway, this has been a mass unboxing. 
I did Netflix Megatron, Netflix Elite One, Bumblebee, Optimus Primal for crying out loud. And I already did MP10 because I just couldn't wait for that. I, I'm just, I had to crack them open as soon as I got home. <laughs> I didn't have the patience for that one. Um, and I'll be giving away Cyclonus on Twitter. So with all, without, without further ado, by all means, thank you guys for joining a live unboxing, live teleturn unboxing. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it, had a lot of fun. Uh, we will be moving on to uh, Dino soon, and there will be a the Cyber Turning in Mode B and Starscream for Studio Series. So that's going to be fun. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Hope you guys had a lot of fun here. And much love to all of y'all. I appreciate all of my viewers. And yeah, get ready for some pictures because I'm going to be posting some stuff. Um, but thank you guys for joining. It's been fun. Hope you guys have a good weekend. I might do another live this weekend. Who knows? Um, so yeah. Yes, indeed. Thanks for watching. Till all. R1. Deuces. <laughs>